Listen, you suck at giving pay raises and bonuses. That's right. Chapter 14 of my book, 16 Reasons Why Your Business Sucks. I just want to share with you real quick, like 30 seconds, a formula that we use to calculate raises. Listen, like I'm just pulling it out right here. Boom. 16 reasons why your business sucks. And have any of you, I'm sure you have, you've worked for places that do these freaking annual job reviews, which I hate. Like they wait a year, they sit down with you, they go over this generic checklist, and then that determines if or when you're going to get like an annual raise. And that old school mentality of doing things sucks. There's one good thing about that that we do use, I can explain later on. But first of all, before I give our little equation, it's, it's super simple, by the way. Let me flip this. Like, don't wait a year to do these annual meetings with team members and employees if you're having a problem, if you're having an area that they're doing awesome on and or that needs coaching on. We meet with our team members immediately ongoing throughout every day, throughout years, throughout days, throughout months to address it head on to fix it so we all can be getting better. It's the worst when you wait a year and you're going over some generic job performance and someone's like, wait, what? Like this, this was going on for a year and you're waiting for this freaking annual report to tell me like to get better at this and I could have been working on it for a whole year. That's stupid. It's stupid for the team member. It doesn't allow them to grow. It's stupid for your company. Because you're waiting a whole year to get that productivity, just lose this old mindset of things. Listen, what we do is we don't just calculate it based on annual time and reviews. We factor in, we do 50%, 25%, 25%. So 50% of that, we do calculate in time at the job. This is how we factor our pay raises. 25% 25% we calculate based on actual performance results those that are over delivering like ringing that bell of excellence as my good man Dave Ramsey says the other 25% attitude listen are they having this amazing positive attitude like let's go get it let's go after it firing up the team leading by their actions Those are all just as important for places that only calculate in the time and they continue to give someone an annual raise each year, even though they are haven't gotten any better in 10 years or they suck. I've seen so many places that I've worked with. I was just talking about this, even a doctor's office. I was explaining to him, you're a business. He's like, wait, what? Uh, No, I'm I'm a doctor. I'm 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 a dentist. Dude, you're a business. You have team members. Like that lady at your front desk, the reason I've left some doctor offices before wasn't because the doctor wasn't amazing. It's because she was so rude to me. The specific person was very rude. Every time I called, acted like it was a huge inconvenience. And I let him know this later on. Like, look, I literally left because of that. And he's like, yeah, but she's been here for 30 years, blah, 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 blah. Dude, you're losing patience because you're being too much of a coward to deal with someone, to coach someone, or to fire someone. And I said, and I guarantee you with how negative that that, that she is, you're losing other great team members as well. So think about that. This is why we don't only focus on the annual raises, the annual time. Yes, we do factor time into the equation, but use this, try using this. 50% we calculate in time, 25%, just to recap it, is performance, and the other 25% is attitude. Now, before I jump off here real quick, this is this week's little leadership tip. That's right, brought to you by... Sponsored by today's show, 16 Reasons Why Your Business Sucks. 
written by this really good looking guy, Mark Menard. <laughs> I had to be freaking awesome at every level of your business, leadership, profits, and build your own dream team. So listen, before I jump off here, the only good thing to like have some type of thing on your calendar to be checking in on at least annually or somewhat ongoing is just to be taking a good look at everyone's pay. Because I've had times where we're checking in and we're like, oh crap, this person's been killing it for a while. We've just been so freaking busy. We didn't realize that we actually need to be giving them a raise or a bonus. So that's a good reason just to have that kind of annual reminder, just to be checking in on everyone. But other than that, don't wait a freaking year and do that stupid generic checklist to meet with people and go over things. Hit it head on. That's what leaders do. That's how you build people up. That's how you elevate people. And then don't have the everyone gets a trophy mentality. We have some people that have been on our team less years than some that could be making more money than some people that have been there longer if they're totally outperforming and have an amazing attitude in all these other areas. We don't just weigh in one thing. So remember that 50% time, 25% performance, and 25% attitude. All right, everyone. I will catch you all later. And remember, never settle, never give up and keep elevating beyond.